Facebook. Hey, hello. How are you? Hi. Hello, doctor. How are you? I am fine, thank you. I just got fantastic Good. news from one of those watching now. She's on her way to Luxembourg. She's on her way to Luxembourg. Yeah. And you know, says, it makes my job worthwhile. It says, makes it's a consequence of watching Waka Waka Doctor, you know? That makes, me, that makes me very happy. That makes me very, very happy. Um, and what, what makes it particularly more, more interesting for me is I don't even know her. I haven't taken oh. any money. I haven't taken any money from her. It's simply oh, by watching my page and doing the stuff I tell them to do. Easy. Yeah. So that's, that's got me. Definitely. Um, I mean, it makes the, all that hard work, all the hours, the editing and the filming. I know we see you do the same dance. <laughs> it's the same. You know, like that. I see that. And then I do. No, I'm not being freaky. I'm just saying I know, I, I know. see him because I, you know, I uh, inspired him. So basically, yes, no, it makes it worthwhile, doesn't it? It, it makes does, your job. It well. does. It does. Thank you oh, very much, oh, and nice. thank you, Aspana, for joining um, joining me today. It was fun the last time, and we thought that we could do this again to kind of give people a different perspective and and give them a reason why they should really come to the UK. Um, and um, I've spoken to a few people about your school um, in, in Leicester and they have nothing but good comments about what you're doing. Oh, nothing I've got something. This will make your followers a bit jealous. Shall I show you? Shall I show you? Uh, show me. Show me. Da, 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 da. I can't hey, see anything. That's my jersey. That's my jersey. Yes, yes, it's yes. It's been posted. It will be posted. There you go. Thank okay, you so very much. Thank you. <laughs> it will be posted. So there you go. There you go. Just for Thank you. you very much. Thank you very oh, and, much. And that's, happy that's Easter. Awesome. It's, it's Easter coming up. So happy Easter. Yeah, thank you. Same to you. Same to you. Uh, look, um, Spana, let's let's get into the into the crux of this matter now. Oh, yes. Um we've titled this Seven Reasons. Last time we talked about, you know, the admission process. You've been helping people also move from Nigeria, from different parts of Africa down to the UK. And your track record speaks for itself. I mean, you've been doing yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing work. But there are a few people who haven't heard you before, so we might backtrack a bit Why for you to tell them okay. who you are and what you do and how you've helped Africans move to the UK. Oh, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, basically, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I call followers students. It's just me being a teacher. I can't help it. So students out there, basically, um, first of all, thank you for your time. The whole purpose of this is basically, um, like, like the doctor, our, our purpose of life or the purpose of actually being here is for the betterment of people. The whole point is if you can empower them with whatever skills you have, you can empower yourself. In this particular case, it's through education. I'm a qualified teacher. Um, I'm actually um, certified with the British Council and I'm a direct authorised partner for De Montfort University. So that means I, you know, when Nadidi is studying at the moment, business studies, I'm actually a direct partner for De Montfort University. So I'll be able to help you with masters and bachelors for De Montfort University. Also, um, for a variety of universities around the UK, I can also help with pre-masters and international year and top-up, pre-top-up, meaning as um, Doctor was showing in his stories, that even if you have a third class, even if you have a, a HND or OND, you can still come to the UK. So, yes. There you go, guys. So, even if you have a third class, even if you have HND, you have OND, when you can move yeah. to the UK. So if you're watching this and you know anyone who falls in the third class category or has OND and HND, please start buzzing them to join us so that they can hear uh, what we have for them this evening. So to the topic itself. Yes. Okay. People are asking you, they didn't hear the name of the university. Oh, yes, I'll type it in. So it's a Demontfort University. Okay. We're right in the middle of the country. Basically, um, I'm an old person. I'm, I'm nearly approaching 50, so I can say this. It's about um, 100 miles. In Nigeria, do you say kilometers or miles, Doctor? We say kilometers. We say kilometers. Uh, okay, um, see, that uh, shows how old I am. And, and, some, <laughs> you and sometimes convert. you don't even say kilometers. You just say if you go, if you go like this. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So basically, what it is is um a hun- Okay, students. Okay, you can Google this. Right. A hundred miles is London to Leicester. Someone Google it. Let's see if one of your followers will let me will help me out. So it's basically one hundred miles from London to Leicester. It's up north before Scott, right smack bang in the middle of the country, Dumont for University. Um, it's a fantastic university, very student friendly. Um, you know, what can I say? I'm an authorized partner. I've graduated there twice myself, and it's and, and I live in Leicester. So, so that's that's the name of the university. Okay, so guys, there you go. It's the University, Mont- the Montfort yeah. University, and it's in Leicester. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what are the seven reasons why should people come to the UK to study? Why, why, why should people come to the UK? Yes. I mean, I've lived in the UK for a while, and it's fantastic. Aside from the weather, that could be sometimes, you know, but it's an amazing uh, place to be, an amazing experience. What are your reasons for telling people to come to the UK? Right, I was going to say my first reason because I was thinking, will your followers be comparing UK to other countries? Because you promote many countries. So uh, one thing I will say definitely is uh, UK is a home to all the top universities. You know them, I know them, what they are. So that's fine. But the thing is this, if students are actually willing to come to the UK, the capacity or the capabilities of the UK universities in terms of R&D is top notch. You know and I know from the pandemic days, the rollout of vaccinations started from the UK. So in terms of research and development and the discovery of the vaccine, it happened in this this country. So yeah, it is one of the best universities are in in the United Kingdom. There is a ranking, um, Doctor, if you know, uh, it's called the QS World Rankings, which gets updated every year. So that in the top 50, um, I've written down, about eight of our UK universities are in the top 50. And there's only 130 to 140 investors in total, out of which eight of them are in the top 50 in the world. So that's just to give you, a, a, in terms of recognition, people will recognize universities in the UK. Just to give you one uh, funny story, uh, one of my students, he said that he wanted to do engineering management. And um, I asked him during my consultation call, why do you want to come to the UK? You could go to UK, uh, US or Australia. He goes, no, because my manager studied in a city near you. And he kept going on and on and on about it. And, you know, the quality and the standard that, that it just blew me over. So. Wow. And that's the reason why it's the quality of the education. Okay, so one reason is the quality of education. I'm going to start asking you a couple of questions now. People are asking, do you require IELTS? For Demofi University, a doctor knows this. Uh, for Demofi University, the answer is N O no. How do you say no in Nigerian? It depends on your culture and tribe, but okay, for me, you me. say ra 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 ra. So basically, if you have English English language, C6 or above, rara. You don't need IELTS. You do not need IELTS because Demotfi University, there are many universities, but one of them is Demotfi University. They do accept WIAC English language C6 or above. So that headache can go. Can go. Save your money. Put it in your pocket. Now, okay? another, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Another reason, um, I'm sure students know this, but I'm going to really emphasize this. The second reason is diversity. It's absolutely huge in the UK. Okay, just to give an idea, Dumont University, let's say just in one faculty or just overall, we have 130 different nationalities at this moment studying at Dumont University, 130. Okay, it's it's absolutely mind blowing. So can you imagine you'll be sitting near someone who you probably have who've come from a country that you've never even heard of. Okay, and students, what they do when they come to the university, when they study, is that they work together. And that's the whole point and purpose of, of humanity. Students from different backgrounds, from different ethnicities, from different faiths, different orientations, they're coming together, they're working in groups because group work is part of university degree coursework and assignments. And um, no, it's fantastic. They just, they work fine together. So okay. diversity is a big thing. Fantastic. So that's reason number two. I've got a couple of more questions for you. I'm going to ask you two in one here. So someone okay. is saying, you've mentioned that there's no need for IELTS. They can use um, C6 in Y. But as yes. you well know, in Nigeria, we also have something called the NECO. NECO. Um, yes. yes. So the question is, 
is Neko accepted instead of Waek? That's number one. Then number two, they're asking, um, what if what I have isn't an OND or HND? What if I what I have is um, an NCE? Um, an NCE in Nigeria is a National Certificate of Education. Oh, that um, yeah. Yeah, those who have gone to colleges of education, if they've had an NCE, um, will will that be accepted as well? I know you said OND, HND, third mm -hmm. class is accepted. But would NCE, yeah. yeah, would NCE be also accepted? Okay, that's a good question. Now, um, if you have any, uh, if you have students who are like that, where it's not been defined in any of the websites and things, it's best if you actually DM me direct. Um, it, it would be correct to actually give you the appropriate uh, advice. So if you could kindly give it to me. Now, one thing I can say is between HND and WIAC. Okay, either you can be a white person, so you've done your secondary school education. So I'm talking to all those 16, 17, 18, 19 year olds. Okay, you can actually come to the UK, but you need to do an international year. Now, let me just say this. So the NCE, I don't know if it goes towards the WIAC or towards the HND. I, I need to find that out for you. I, but I let me tell you. NCE, the NCE, after, after the WIAC, you go, you go for the NCE. It's like, I think, a year or two, a year or two um, certificate course in education. Okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to say that I need to check. I'll have to check for you. And okay. then, so if you could contact me directly, let me find it, because I need to know as well. But what I would like to say is this. This is what you could do. If you have WIAC and your grades are between one and six, then you will get a visa for four years. First year is the international year, and then you go to first year, second year, third year of your degree. If your WIAC is between one and six, if you're like an average student, okay? Now, if you are a bit better than that and your WIAC is average, um, I believe they've written down B3. So if your average score is minimum B3, you don't need to be here for four years. You can actually save your money and you do the international year one and you then you go straight to year two, then final year, then you graduate. Okay, okay. I've just been corrected by a few people here saying that NCE is the equivalent, the equivalent. of an OND. It's a three-year program. Um, that it's a three-year program, just that it's done in the College of Education, but it's actually a three-year program. So I think, program. yeah, I think okay. that should be accepted. But guys, if you have an NCE, I think it'll be best to just um, send a DM to Asfana. Uh, um, the handle is ukbright.education, ukbright.education. I have someone here from Ghana. He's from Ghana, and he's got a question here saying, he has a two-year diploma as a nurse assistant. Would that be accepted okay. for an admission in, 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 in your university? Uh, what kind, it, uh, if you could kindly tell me what kind of diploma it is, that would really help because you could do an ordinary or a higher. So it depends on which one. Okay, okay. Bronnie, um, Bronnie it, I think you should send a DM to her to kind of explain what kind of... What kind of um, what kind of diploma. Uh, uh, diploma you have. Yeah, you should send a DM. Um, yeah. And people are asking here, do we stand a chance to get a work permit if we apply as a couple? Oh, classic question. Um, it depends on what you're applying for. So if you're applying for a master's, then you can bring your, uh, bring your wife, uh, bring a wife or husband. Work permit, uh, we don't call that a work permit. Basically, if you bring your dependent, and this is not mum and dad, it's not your siblings, it has to be your partner, and you have to be able to show that they are related to you uh, in, in that way. Um, they are actually, by law, they're allowed to work full time. It's, it'll so, be on their so sticker. Your, their your dependents can work full time. So if you come with your husband or child, they, can work, they can work full time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, and that's okay. and you know you know what, doctor. I don't know if you get the same feeling as me, but um, uh, I get a, a lot of satisfaction actually helping families, because you're not just impacting one person; you're impacting yeah, the whole lots of people. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. you haven't answered this about Neko. Is Neko accepted as well? Ooh. Um, as far as I know, it is, but I'll double check with you because sometimes, do you know what it is, doctor? Some people have done their WIAC and they may not have done that well. And they, a couple of years later, they do their NECO. So as long as you show that your English level is C6 or above credit or above, then you should be okay. But okay. as far as I know, Alex, um, they've accepted through my students. 
Okay, so they've accepted NECO. So if you have NECO yes. as well, that would yeah. help you uh, do it. So what's reason number three before we ask um, other questions? Reason number okay. three for coming to the UK. Okay, reason number three is, sorry, that's my doorbell, right? I don't know why. Oh, it's one of my visitors, right? So basically, support. support. Okay, uh, universities, I keep saying Demonfo, but generally UK universities, they provide a lot of support for their students. Okay, they know, doctor, that you know, international, it doesn't matter if you're international or local, students need support and it could come in a variety of ways. Okay, so for example, every single department even have their own student support services. And now I'm going to plug them. So Demonfo University, they actually have an award winning student support service. OK, it's top notch. So basically, whether it's whether it's for careers or whether it's for admin purposes, whether it's for mental health or for health related or any other kind of support that's through academic help. They even do. It, I don't think this will apply to your followers, but they'll even provide free um, English language support. Students have had a huge study gap and they don't re even remember the academic study skills because you know how it is. The reading um, skill is different. At university referencing is different you need to use the harvard referencing system for example you need to be able to make notes which is a bit different from when you're doing your WIAC. so academic skills they give more support cv skills whatever support you need um, they give they give more okay so that's so reason number three what's reason number four okay this one i have to say and i'm sure students would have thought of this first time the financial benefits um, I mean, you can work while you're studying, so you're allowed to work up to 20 hours a week class time, and during the holidays, you can work full time. Wow, okay. Now, let's talk about a crucial part of this, um, and I've seen questions rolling out already. Do you give yeah. scholarships? Do you give tuition waivers? The last time we spoke, you did say that you can pay three, four, five times? Uh, no, 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 that's installments. That's the yeah, installments. installments. Yeah, yeah. Five, installments. Three, yeah. four, five yeah. installments. It's, it's um, seven. So do, you it's have, seven. do you have scholarships? Do you have installments, uh, payments in installments? Give us, give us a bit business. of good news about that. Okay, so all that jazz. So basically, number one, scholarships. Classic, classic question. I don't blame you. Right, so what is this? Demofi University they do have scholarships, which is up to £2,000. But let me say it is first come, first served. Now, saying that, don't get a heart attack. Hold on. If you want to go for a pre-master's or an international year in Dundee University, which is a world-ranking university, which I can help you with, um, if you apply, let's say, if you start your master's in September, or January, uh, but you have to start your pre-masters before. Okay, so this is, um, I, don't, I don't want to confuse you. So if you have, if you, follow up, if you are a third class graduate, this applies to you. If you're a third class graduate, you may come to the UK for a pre-masters from September to December in Dundee. After that, if you start your masters in January, you will not only get a £5,000 scholarship, it's called a Vice-Chancellor African Scholarship, it's automatic £5,000, but also on top of that, you get a £2,000 scholarship called a Discover, Discover Dundee Scholarship. So Dundee University, like I said, is world ranking, so their fees will be such, but they are ready to knock off for January master's people, £7,000. Okay. And what, what about others, your regular master's students? So regular master's students, uh, for, so that's for Dundee University for January. For everybody else, so let's say we have two intakes. We have one in September, one in January. So yeah, it's up to £2,000 at Demont University. Now, okay. I know you're going to feel a bit disappointed, but let me say uh, that um, the deposit, people will ask you, doctor, what is the deposit? Now, I would recommend, and the university would advise you to pay 50% of the fee as the deposit, okay? Because what will happen when your visa arrives, when the plane lands and you can start the uh, ground running, you can start your class because you're a paid customer. You paid 50% of your fee, okay? So before, before they start at all, they need to pay 50%? 50% of the fee, then you, need 50, you need 50 anyway to enroll. Okay. You need 50 anyway. But you know how it is, um, doctor, the banks in Nigeria, because everybody's applying at the same time, it's very tricky as it is. People, I can tell you a really sad story about one of my students who were trapped in this particular situation. I'll tell you in a minute. But yeah, ideally pay um, 50%. Now, you know the 678 thingy that you're saying? This is what it is. 
let's see if we can get any wows from your followers. This is what it is. You will come, let's say September. You will come and land for September, okay? You need to adjust. You need to sort out your accommodation. You need to sort out your part-time job. You need to sort out your studies. That's what you're here for, right? So, Jamal Fee University, they will not ask you to pay the remaining fee all in one go. They will give you time. So, your first, your installments, you can pay not in one or two, but seven installments. Seven. Starting seven, seven from, from November. From November. They'll give you breathing space of two months to adjust. And then you start your payments from the member. So that, that's the beauty of Demofi University. Okay, fantastic. So um, I've got more questions coming in. Let's talk about reason five and reason six. Okay. Uh, another reason, um, this is a no-brainer, job opportunities for graduates. Okay. Dr. Nye, he will concur with me that basically if you're a graduate in Nigeria compared to being a graduate in the UK, who would have, so if you were to return back to your home country, who is more likely to be ahead? It will have to be the person who's in, oh, let me ask you, what do you think, doctor? So if there's another one, that's as good as mine. <laughs> there you go. So I did this. So if, waka waka doctor, if you had a clone and one clone was graduated from Nigeria and the other clone studied in, in UK, who would get the job? The UK guy, of course, the UK it's guy. The UK working with doctor. There you go. So that, uh, so that's what it is. So um, you know, you've got that. The other reason, another benefit is PSW. So basically, after studying and graduating in the UK, you, if you wish, you may stay in the UK for a further two years. Okay, further two years. Now that is your opportunity. I've written it down for you. That is an opportunity for you to settle into your profession. OK, you've paid all this money, so you need to utilize that degree. So therefore, it is best for you. You've got that two years. You've got that two years in order to get into that job. So you'll need to. So ideally, it will be with a two, tier two sponsor, which I'm sure you would have talked about yeah. in your previous year. And all as right. you know, we've got, we've got the um, shortage occupation list. So there's certain occupations which are more in demand than others. Um, so if you're in those kind of subjects, then even better. All right, a couple of more questions for you. Number one is, how can I get to talk to you? Um, is there a clear and obvious pathway to PR after studying? Oh, that's an immigration question. That's an immigration question. I only deal with admissions. So I will only give you uh, advice from um, tips from my experience, but really should consult with an immigration solicitor. I can give you one, but there you go. Uh, basically, it depends on you. It depends on your activity. So doctor, for example, if you came to study in the UK, if you just went to university and you came home and that's all you did, if you just blinkered and just going to uni and come back home, that's not enough. I'm sure you will concur that you can learn even more outside the classroom when you're networking, when you're visiting those societies, when you're actually doing extracurricular activities like placements work experience, even when doing that part-time job. So anything which you do out of the box, that will help you. Now, what's this got to do with PR? That's your uh, valuable question. I, I, I really give credit to your follow. Very clever people you have there. So basically, this is what it is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say that, oh, come, it's easy. You can get a job. No, we all have to work hard. We're all fighting for the same job, right? So how do you do this? For PR, you need 10 years. You need to be in the UK resident for 10 years. Now, two years have gone because you've graduated. What about the eight? So that's where you need to bag a proper job, as in with a tier two sponsor. Because when they sponsor you, they can sponsor you for up to five years. Okay? Now, doctor, if someone employed you, after five years, do you think they'll like you to go? No, don't, no, no. No, if you've done well, if you've yeah, been working, you've well, they've like invested you. in you, right? Yeah, yeah. They've invested you in too much. They've trained you too much. So obviously, you know, we'd, we'd, I don't need to say it out, spell it out. But yeah, after the five years and you've had the two years, if you carry on, then you get your PR. Okay? Right. Now, like I said, I'm not an immigration lawyer, but there are ways. But like I said, you've got to do it properly. There's yeah. no point. You know, I, I do respect. I have worked hard. You've worked hard. We, we've, we've done the grafting. Uh, we can get an odd job. It's easier. After graduation, we can work all the hours that God sends. But any odd job, no, there's no future. 
Okay, if need be, I tell them, doctor, you won't believe this. I say, when you've graduated, leave. Go to another city. Go where there are opportunities. This is your legitimate chance to go and get you, find out your future. So there is opportunities, but you have to find out yourself and, um, yeah, you know, One do the more, thing. Uh, two more questions um, before we go on. Um, how can people contact you and talk a little bit about those who have study gaps? Oh, right. Um, I was hoping it's talk about that. Right. So how do they, how do you contact me? I think let's just beat about the bush. It's Easter bank holiday weekend, probably schools, colleges, everybody it's closed everywhere. So you've got plenty of time on your hands. So what I'd recommend you do is just directly send a CV to me, uh, to info at ukbrighteducation.com or Afsana, or I can write it down if you want, or Afsana at ukbrighteducation.com. Yeah, can, can you write it down please? Yeah, can you write it down please? Yeah. Uh, UK Bright. Why does my phone not recognize me? Oh, there it is. So here, send your CV. Then what it is is that my uh, your followers or my followers will say, what do you want in the CV? Is this a Nigerian thing? I need to ask you. Is it not? Is it normal practice that people just write the year and the subject and the place, but they never write the classification? Is that a cultural thing? Um, I'm not sure it's cultural, but um, there's 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 a right way to, 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 to write the CV. Some people don't know how to write their CVs. That's the problem. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Some people just don't know how to package their CV properly. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's so what please, it is. Please, I'll beat around the bush because I, I, I know time is valuable. What it is this? Please write your CGPA. Okay. Please write your CGPA because without that, I can't really advise you whether you can get direct master's uh, admission or not. You need that. Number two, if you could kindly tell me what you got for YX for English language. Because that will decipher whether you need to do IELTS or not. Okay, so please tell me whether you've got YEC, English language, C6 or above. And also tell me your CGPA or your score. Because then from there, I can give you a quick response. Okay, okay and I've given you the email addresses. Yeah. All right, thank you. I've just pinned the email address there. You can send Asfana emails, send her your CV, and she would get back to you. You can also send her a DM right here yeah. um it's ukbright.education what about the study gap those who've got study gaps okay um that's a good question uh, because people have moved on and lived a lot so that's not a problem first of all for pre-masters uh and for international year for international year the the maximum you can do after wyack the maximum gap after wyack is five years so, for example, yeah, so how old are you when you finish your WIAC, doctor? Is it 18 or 19? Um, about 17, yeah. About 17. So up to, let's say, 22, you can apply for international year. You can't apply for direct admission for master's. It'll okay. be for an international year. And it depends if um, your WIAC is good or not. It depends on that. Okay? So that's for WIAC people, 17 to 22-year-olds. If you're a graduate... Um, let's say, well, I'm not going to talk about third class yet. So if you're a graduate, uh, I've written it down. If you've got 55% or more for CGPA, or if you've got 2.5 out of 4 for your CGPA, okay, you can get a direct admission for a, a master's. Now, for those people, um, you know, if you've done it within the last five years, great. If you've, if you've uh, had a gap of more than five years, Okay, let's say if it's up to seven years, you've got two options. Either you can do a pre-master's or you can do a master's. Okay, now this is going to make a lot of people confused. Okay, a lot of people confused. Why would I want to do a pre-master's? What's the difference? A pre-master's is for people who've been out for a long time and they don't, they, they need a bit. Oh, no, no, no. A pre-master's is for people who want to change their career. Okay, people who want to change their career. Change their career. That is perfect for them. Okay? okay. So let's say, for example, doctor, you're a medical doctor at the moment. You want to go to data analytics. Okay? You will not be able to get a master's. Uh, this is just for Demontfi University. For Demontfi University, you need a relevant uh, degree in computing. But you've done your MBBS, right? So you can't do data analytics. So then the pre-master will be perfect. OK, that will be only for a term. So let's say from September to December. Yeah. And then you go to your data analytics master's degree in January. Okay. And you can do that at Montfort or at Greenwich University, Central London. 
Okay. Oh, Someone oh, is asking but, here that um, they've heard that work experience is a big deal in the UK. Would you agree is. that the chances are slim for master's degree graduates without work experience? Hmm. Now, I'm going to say this. My heart was breaking because the last time we, we, we spoke, um, I don't know if, uh, I'm sure you know the demographics of your followers, but I did get many, many CVs where the study gap was even longer than seven years. OK, now I had to ask, ask, fight, fight with the university. And I'm very, very happy to say I asked them this. This is the scenario. I said, look, I have all these Waka Waka doctor uh, followers. They've given their CVs. They're coming with the hope that they wanted admission. Their gap is more than seven years. I can't say no to them. What do you want me to do with them? So Dumont University have said this. I, and I also fought the case and I said that, look, these guys, they've, they're financially independent. They're more motivated. They're not going to go AWOL. They are more motivated. So they're a bit more older, so they're more motivated. They've probably got family with them. So they're probably more serious. Um, and they're professionals. Some of them are professionals. We must be able to give credit for that. So as a consequence, Dumont University said, Afsana, let them apply. Let your followers, Waka Waka Doctor followers apply on the condition that as well as doing a personal statement, there's another form they need to fill in. Okay. okay, just another form, just another four more questions. If they can answer that satisfactorily, not a problem. Okay, so they've, they've just got to done. fill another form of four questions form. and that's it. Yeah. And right. I'll, go with, I'll go through it with them. So they'll fill it in. I'll check it, see if it meets their criteria, and then feedback, feedback, and then, yeah. So All it right. can be done. So what's seventh reason? What's the seventh reason for coming to study in the UK? My goodness, it starts with the letter F U N. Fun, it's fun. Yeah. It is. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, let's see, let's see, university. This city is a university city because uh, we have two universities in Leicester. So it is a, a, a student city university. All around the UK, it's the same. So there, there is a lot of fun to have. There's so much to see. There's so much to do. So it's a great place to come. It, and, and I'm from UK, and there's so many places that I haven't been to. Yeah, absolutely, so, okay. absolutely. It's, it's, so guys, it's, it's um, this is Asfana and we've been talking about seven reasons why you can move to the UK and she's been talking about this beautiful university in Leicester City that I think you would definitely want to go to. Even if you have a second class lower, you have NCE, you have OND, you have HND, you have a study gap you can apply. So all you need to do is send a CV to asfana at ukbrighteducation.com asfana at ukbrighteducation.com or info at ukbrighteducation.com info at ukbrighteducation.com You can also just send a DM um, right away to ukbright.education ukbright.education She's talked about all the various reasons um, why you should move to the UK. This university would give you an opportunity to pay your fees seven different times um, when you land in the UK. You can move with your family. Your dependents would have um, access and opportunity to work while you study. They can work. Um, you yourself, if you're there, um, you get admission. You can work while you study. I mean, after you study, you get two years post-study work permit, and that's, you know, working your way towards PR. Um, you're going to be in the UK, a very diverse, you know, community. And um, the university is in Leicester, um, where you have Nigerians um, in Didi and Ian Acho. In fact, yeah, in Didi is one of the students. And you can see my jersey there. If you're watching, uh, just to say, now, Didi, if you're watching, I'd love to have you on the show. Please follow me. Big fans. <laughs> so I've just got this for the doctor because you know he's a, he's a, he follows Leicester City. Yeah, just So guys, uh, please send Aspana, send Aspana a DM right now. She's waiting for you in the DM. It's ukbright um, dot education at ukbright dot education. Send her a DM and she'll be helpful, very helpful. Answer your questions and also guide you towards getting admission and moving to the UK. Asfana, is there any other thing you want to share with people before we go? 
I just want to say, in terms of deadlines, we are in the, um, what's the date today? It's the 15th of April. I did ask Dimopfi University, because it's Good Friday today, they're, they're closed, but we have got deadlines to meet. So, for example, um, they've got two intakes for uh, bachelor's and master's. One is September, the other one is January. If you are thinking, if you have the means, if the money is in the bank and you want to come in September, you need to get going. You need to speed up in terms of your documentation. If you, uh, Doctors all are saying, have you got your international passport? He just said that for you stories ago okay you've got to have your international passport if you haven't what are you doing okay you might as well apply for january if you haven't got your passport yet because the process time is very long so if this was september you need to have your international passport your work transcript your degree transcript degree certificate two references okay it could be from academia or work or both uh, a completed application from me personal statement and another one it depends on your study gap and then you're ready to go and send it all together and you need to have the finance. Fantastic the work. So there you go. Um, send her a DM. It's ukbright.education. And she would answer all your multiple, multiple questions that you have. And you can also send an email at aspana uh, at ukbrighteducation.com. Thank you very much, Aspana. It's always a pleasure having you here. I'm going to leave this video on my feed so that people can watch later on. Um, and of course, ask you questions that you want to ask. Thank you very much for joining me. All right, then take care. Bye. Bye.